Hello all, welcome to Java Talent. In this tutorial video, I am going to cover how we can create our Spring Boot first application using Eclipse ID or STS ID. So STS ID is there, uh, like uh, STS stands for Spring Tool Suite. That means the, it will be developed over top of the Eclipse ID only, but there will be the some additional customizations which will be developed uh, develop only for the Spring applications. So that will be also helpful for our development of Spring Boot application. But we can use the Eclipse ID as well. There is no any such type of difference as we can just use Eclipse ID as well. So here in this video, I am going to use today Eclipse ID. So you can use STS as well or any Eclipse ID. So I am going to use here. So my workspace is like we have created earlier Spring Boot workspace and I am going to launch this. So my Eclipse ID is version is 2021-09. So you can use any one of the version. There is no any problem. So once you open your Eclipse ID, you need to go to this file menu and you need to select Maven project. In this tutorial, I am going to create the Maven project and how we can make it as a Spring Boot application project. So you can select the Maven project and uh, hit next. Here in the filter section, there is the group ID, artifact ID and version details. So we need to select for this Maven project. So whatever the Maven project architecture will be Maven hyphen archetype quick start quick start okay and you can search no problem you can just type uh, quick start then it, it also come but here you need to select the particular one otherwise i will go going to hit complete name maven archetype hyphen quick start so you need to select the latest one so I am selecting here 1.4 version that is the latest one. Hit on next. So here group ID will be the company name. Whoever the creator, company, group, whatever there. So it will be com.java talent for us. And artifact ID will be the project name. So this will be my first Spring Boot project. So I am taking the Spring Boot example. Just the simple name. And here it will be the package name. So I am just leaving that package as it is. Or I can just let it be root package that means com the java talent and hit on finish so it will create a man project for you and then we need to bound and make it as the spring boot project fine it has been generated so there is the some details like form.xml file is generated automatically once we have created this project and then one simple app.java file main, main class it has been generated but I need to create our Spring Boot application class. So for that, we will just create one another class. So let me delete this application .java file for now. And go through this uh, form.xml file. Here, we need to add some details for our starter project. So I'm just uh, deleting this part and adding this uh, project version, the Java version basically. So I'm just going to use the version of Java. Which version of Java I'm going to? use so it will be within this properties tag find java dot version like 1.8 i am just using java 8 version here and uh, there is some uh, build uh, plugins is there automatic plugins is there it has been generated automatically so you can just remove for now we will see later so this will this is not required here for now and uh, we need to add some additional dependency for a Spring Boot project. So let me copy this and I will edit it. Okay. So our Spring Boot application, so group ID will be company name, organization's name, means org dot spring framework dot org dot spring framework dot boot we are going to use spring boot application so for that this one is the spring starter project so we need to add parent project 
so artifact id will be spring boot starter parent so it will be our parent project and uh, here we need to make a version so our spring boot version whatever the version we are going to use 2.2.1 dot release so uh, let me delete this test term not required and uh, here i will need to add type which type of this plugin is so i am making this as a form so this is form plugin so i am just using it then uh, if you are going to use web dependency you can just create one more dependency i will let you know how can we create it will be simply there is the there is the way we can just use a simple just importing this dependency and we can do that easily but for now i am just going through this manual process so spring boot again the spring boot uh, or the framework spring boot and then artifact id will be starter web spring boot starter web if you are going to use any web component so for that you need to add this dependency okay so this is the all what about the dependency you are going to add as per that dependency there is the jar has been added let me show you go to this maven dependency and you will find whatever the dependency you have added here it will add all the jar respective of that dependency and it will add some additional jar if you see what are the version we have used 2.2.1 whatever the version this is the parent project so basically whatever the spring starter parent means it is the parent project for all the spring boot project for that reason we have added this dependency here so see spring boot starter web 2.2.1 release the spring boot starter this one this one auto configuration there is some log 4j jar has been auto generated and then uh, if you see jackson api jar has been also generated tomcat jar has been also generated somehow hibernate validator jar has been generated automatically we have not added anything spring aop expect jar has been generated j unit because we have used here j unit so for that reason all the jar has been generated here okay so let's go ahead and then create our main class then i will show you how it will be done so just go to this package java dot uh, com dot java talent and then we need to hit the class name so let me create one simple class so i'm just giving it as spring boot example so i am just selecting this main method so that it will generate automatically main method for us so let it has been generated the main method fine so to make this a spring boot application so to make this class as a spring boot class we need to annotate this class with a spring boot application annotation fine so let me show you some details just uh, move your cursor there then you will find some details over it indicates that the configuration class that declares one or more unpaired main methods and also trigger auto configuration component scan configuration properties scanning this is the convenience annotations that is equivalent to declaring at the right configuration at the right auto con auto uh, enable auto configuration and then after component scan that means spring boot application annotation is itself the combination of three annotation which is at the right configuration at the right enable auto configuration and at the right component scan let me declare all these so at the right enable auto configuration this annotations enables all the spring boot on auto configuration mechanism as the name it suggests it will enable auto configuration mechanism for our spring boot application then coming to this at the right component scan so it scans all the packages where the application is located and the third is at the right configuration so this annotations allows us to register extra bins in the context or whatever the additional configurations classes we are going to use 
it will import that classes as well. So to not use these three annotations differently, we are just using this one annotation at the Spring Boot application. Fine. So let me uh, uh, define this class and call this static run method. There is the one static run method from this Spring application class. So that we need to call here. Spring application. I am moving slowly because this is our first application. Further, I will increase this page. So, see here, it will be class type. First parameter is class type and second is the ARGS. And first parameter is class type, the our main Spring Boot class type, just this one. So, Spring Boot example dot class. Fine. And this one is the arguments. Fine. So this is our main method is ready. Main class is ready. So as if you are able to see here, this is the main method, just like a simple Java application. So for that reason, we can just run this application as normal Java application as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this application. So uh, you can just simply right click on this main method or main class and you can just use Java application or Spring Boot application. So I am using here Java application. So see the output. We have used 2.2.1 version of the uh, Spring Boot version. So it has been given here. And if you see, uh, Tomcat started on port 8080 because this is the default port. And we have not given any context part. I will further in, uh, introduce this context part. What is the context part? And this Spring Boot is click. Uh, if you see here, started application in 6.38 seconds, and JVM is running for this one. So <clears throat> I am here giving some sorts of additional information. For example, if you are in case, if in case your application is not running successfully, you might run this application and you got some error let me show you that error for example you have ran your application this simple spring boot application and you will might get this details error starting the application context application failed to start description you will able to see that web server failed to start port 8080 at all ADAC news for example, if you have some different application which is using the same port, whatever the port, default port it is going to use, same port is configured for your another application. For example, in my case earlier, I have used Oracle for the same port. So if you get some error, same details, so you can just change the port. I will introduce how we'll change the custom port for our Spring Boot application later. But if you are getting here, Simply, you can just kill your job from the other application. Whatever the other application is using, using uh, you can just kill your job, another job, not this Spring Boot application. And you can just run this Spring Boot application and you are able to successfully run this Spring, uh, Spring Boot application. So let me show you that. If you are seeing here, I have checked this command from because in my case, there is uh, See here, 8080 port is listening on the port and the PID, process ID is 4196. So you need to kill this process because this process was running on 8080. It was Oracle for me. So you can just kill this process and then if you run this application, you will successfully able to run it. <coughs> Our application is running. <coughs> but the thing is, uh, you are seeing here a red symbol. So you do not need to worry about because our application is successfully running and we are not getting any error. So what we need to do is to resolve this one. So this is simple. Uh, simply there is the means, uh, some plugin or something is used with the Maven or ID. So you just needs to clean once, clean your project. To clean your project, you need to go to this uh, menu bar, project and clean. Select the project, whatever the project you want to clean. Clean the project and you need to update the Maven. So after clean the project, you can go there and uh, right click on that uh, project, go to the Maven and uh, update project. 
So once you will update the project, and this issue will be resolved. See, and now you are able to see. Earlier it was uh, M of Java. That means the Java project, Maven of Java project, and now it will become as M of S. That means Maven of the Spring project. And you are seeing the Spring element over here. So yeah, we are good here. <coughs> this red cross is also gone. So yeah, yep. Yeah, this is the things what I wanted to show us today. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for your time.